couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll explore yet again how to make beautiful music out of two chords, only two chords. And I'm gonna explore these two chords with you all over the neck and show you how by merely connecting the chord shapes and just playing the chords all over the neck, you can create amazingly beautiful and relaxing music without even adding licks to it. You can add licks, I'll show you how, but you can just use the chords. Because E major 7 and A major 7 are so beautiful, so relaxing, that the major 7 chord by nature is a very relaxing, tranquil chord. And you can play the E major 7 here and the A major 7 here. You can hear the, hear the relaxing property of the chord. Or you can play them in higher variations, okay, all over the neck, okay? It's not difficult, it's not out of your reach um, because you have the open A string and the open E string, okay, E bass string, you have strings five and six as your bass notes. So basically, uh, it's just, just three strings at a time per chord. So you can start with E major seven like this, okay, which is kind of muddy, okay, I admit, because it's just too bassy, it's uh, too many bass notes. So we won't use this shape too much, but it's useful to know. Um, it's uh, one, one, two on strings three, four, five. Okay, E major seven. Okay, or you can do this. Okay, um, you can play four, one, two on strings two, three, four with the sixth string. Okay, just don't play the fifth string. And then you have open E string as a minor second there, so you immediately have uh, an interesting sound without even starting to talk about making music. A major 7 is 2-1-2 two, two on strings 2-3-4. Two, okay. um, or this. Four on the E string, two, two, and two on strings, two, three, and four. Okay? So already you have two variations. Okay? One, one, two for E major seven. Two, one, two for A major seven. Or four, one, two for E major seven. Or or two, two for A major seven. So start with that. Explore the options, and of course you have. Okay, you can pull off to the bar on the E string. Okay, four two. Okay. So try to find the connections between these two notes. Uh, emphasize different strings at a time. that I know what I'm doing, but I'm not. I'm just um, a little bit more well-versed than you probably in improvisation, so I'm confident in my playing, and that's the key. Be confident in your playing. Just keep a good rhythm, and the rest will fall into place. I'm not kidding. Even very, very simple rhythmic patterns. Just arpeggiating the chords, you don't have to know where you're going, and just keep a rhythm in your mind and try to superimpose the chords on the rhythm, not the other way around. Now, the next um, chord you can use is 4-4-4 four, four, four on strings 1, 2, and 3, with the 6th string this is E major 7. 
and you can use 5 and 7 on the E string for soloing. And I played the D string by mistake. Yeah, and you can play this, the 4 2 2 for A major 7. Just these two chords. Now, this, adding the 5 to the chord, creates a B7 chord. So, you want to avoid that. Just as a transition, don't focus on the 5, okay? And then you have this. Okay? 4, 5, 6 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Now, why is that? Because you have A, A bar on 5, E shaped, and this is A. So the major 7 would be okay, one half step below the root, and you have the major 7. So 4, 5, 6 with A, okay, and 4, 4, 4 with E. So again, just play around with that. five and seven if you like but again not too much just okay and you can use seven for the next shape because you have okay you have seven nine eight okay with e that's E major 7 because it's the same shape as A major 7 up if you bar the 7th fret. Okay, so you can use the high notes for that. The next one is 999. Nine, nine. It's like E major 7 here, 444, four, four, but up to 9. So that's another option. can use 11 okay because you guessed it it's in the next E major 7 okay just like 4 5 6 you have 11 12 13 okay you can vibrate the whole chord if you like Why did I slide into four on the second string? Because you have it in this shape, the second shape I showed you for E major seven. So I just slid into it. Yeah, I slid, played the open E string, and then played A major seven. So as you can see, again, you can use 12, 14, and 13 Okay, for a very high A major 7, which is um, the octave of this. Okay, so you can do that as well. If you want to dirty it up a bit, you can use chromatics. Okay, 11, uh, 10, 9. but in my opinion it's unnecessary okay you can bar four and hammer on uh, five and six and string is two and three because it's in the a uh, major seven shape and leave the four as kind of a pedal note because you have it in three successive shapes, four, five, six, four, 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 two, two. Yeah, and just exploring, exploring it along with you. You don't have to do it 
you know, in sequence, you can jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Wasn't the best of examples. Also wasn't the best of jokes. But... You can do it, okay? It's all, it all depends on your, uh, your imagination, your style, and the time you have on your hands. So I'll let you go practice this. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, you know what I'm gonna say. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of free lessons over here, and they're free. So if you wanna give something back anyway, uh, first of all, thank you for your generosity, and you can do it uh, via Patreon. The link to the Patreon page is right below in the description, or there's a donation button on the Lick and Riff website for a one-time donation. So I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. And thank you very much for watching. Bye for now, enjoy, see you in the next lesson.